All right, so I got a GFCI outlet that I'm gonna change out. And I kind of wanted to give a rundown because I've gotten confused about it a couple of times. I've had a couple of people ask me about it. So I'm gonna kind of give you a rundown. Here we go. All right, so I got this GCFI outlet and I need to change and I need to put it right here into this. This is actually a split outlet in the kitchen. It's not actually legal anymore. Uh, so we're gonna put a GFCI in here. So this thing has two different loads on it. It's got one right here at the red wire, and it's got one right there at the black wire. Um, what we're gonna do in this situation, in my situation, is because, well, anyways, we're gonna eliminate this red wire, so I'm gonna disconnect it from all of this, and I'm gonna put a wire nut on it, and I'm gonna push it off in the back and forget about it right now, all right? And then we're gonna take this black wire right here, and this white, white wire, and that ground, and we're gonna put, let's see here, grab my camera. This is what it looks like. Kind of give you a little tutorial here. So we'll put black wire, white wire, green wire, or not necessarily green wire, it could be a bare wire, but it's your ground, this is your ground. Um, this terminal right here, it comes with, I got this straight out of the box, it comes with this yellow thing. This is not, for splitting. You cannot split a GFCI, um, to my knowledge anyways. I'm not necessarily uh, super professional, but definitely take my advice on this one. Um, this is for jumping to another receptacle, so you can run multiple uh, receptacles off of this because it has its own individual breaker. So what you would do is, is let's just hypothetically say I, I installed this one and then I wanted to install one over here, then I could, if this was not a split circuit, I could just jump these wires over to this receptacle and then it would have power. And then I, on the bottom of that receptacle, I could put two more wires and jump it over here to another receptacle. That's one option. Or you can take this black wire, this white wire, and this green wire, and tie it onto here. And then you could take this uh, red wire and you can run it over here. Or you can even cut you out a hole right here on this box. You put a bare box in there. And then uh, you'd have to figure out your white and all that other stuff. But you could use that load over here on this receptacle and have another receptacle right here on the side of the same box. That's another situation. But what we are doing today is we're just going to eliminate that red wire. So we're going to put a wire nut on it. We're just going to throw it off in the back, install our GFCI. Good to go. We got another one over here. So that means they got two little outlets in here. If it was me personally, I'd probably put one uh, right there and then like another one like right there or maybe like up there or something for a light. But that's just me. Anyways, just kind of wanted to give a rundown. Uh, GFCI outlets. That's it.